together. Sing the Lord.
church, good morning. So good to be in the house of the Lord this morning, isn't it? Amen, amen. On behalf of the leadership of this church, headed by our host pastor, Bishop Dr. Clement Clark, who is on the podium behind me. Bishop, just acknowledge and wave, please. And assisted by our associate pastor, Reverend Jennifer Brown. Reverend Brown, just acknowledge and wave. Let me warmly welcome you to the Easter Park Road New Testament Church of God, a church in the city reaching out to the nation. Now, it's Mother's Day, yeah? How many mothers we have in here? Who are mothers? Biological, spiritual, whether legal guardians, you're all mothers. So we just wanna acknowledge all the mothers in the house this morning, but we also wanna specially recognize our first time mothers. Do we have any first time mothers in the house this morning? See, we have a few babies to be christened, so I know we have a few first time mothers. Just wave if you're a first time mother. Just wave your hands for me, just wave, yes. Clap them, clap them. It's always, the first time is always the greatest, they say. First time moms, welcome. Additionally, we also want to welcome a group of children that we have visiting with us from the Naysbury community. Are they downstairs or upstairs? I'm gonna ask you all to stand. The children from the Naysbury community. They're up on the, on the podium, thank you. Uh, the Naysbury community is a, is a community of the Riddles Road that we evangelize on a consistent basis. So we're more than happy to have the children here worshiping with us. Now, do we have any other first time visitors that are worshiping with us for the first time? I'm gonna ask you to stand. If you're on the virtual space, I'm just gonna ask you to type first time visitor as well. Give them a hand, please. I see a few standing. Welcome. Good to have you. Now, if you are someone who is a regular visitor with us, but you're not a member of the church, you're becoming time and time again, we also want to acknowledge you as well. So just please stand so we can acknowledge you as well. Welcome. Welcome. Now, our doors at EPR are always opened. We're more than happy to welcome you. So if you don't have a church to call home, you're more than happy to join us. All right, so we have a great service lined up for you today. So let us all worship and fellowship as the Lord intended. God bless you. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Amen. Amen. Come on, we are still in the house of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. At this time, we have some special persons among us. And those are some babies that are to be dedicated. And at this time, I want to invite our host pastor, Bishop Dr. Clark to come and lead us into the dedication of babies. Thank you so much, Brother Freckleton. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Hello, greetings. All right, I can't vex with me on Mother's Day. Not a good day. Um, it's great to have all those who are visiting with us, especially those who have babies to be dedicated. And so while the praise team will sing an appropriate song, I'll be asking the parents and I ask the ushers please to come and just help to position. So I invite all the babies, all the parents with babies to come forward at this time. And the persons with the babies are in front and the godparents and so forth will go behind. Okay. Jesus. 
Jesus loves a little children, all the children of the world, whether they are black or white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves, Jesus loves the little children. Thank you so much. We appreciate those of you who have taken your babies to be dedicated today. We believe that this is a very important aspect of the child's life. And so we want to say thanks to you. I want to also continually say thanks to the baby fathers who have this made it their duty to come along we really appreciate you God bless you richly the scripture says and the Lord said I know Abraham that he will command his children and his household after him And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment. Hannah bare a son and called his name Samuel. And brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh to Eli. And she said, for this child I prayed. And the Lord hath given me my petition which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord as long as he liveth. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. These are the words of the Lord. And let me once again say how oh, delighted I am to see all those of you who have brought your children in for dedication to the Lord. Of course, among those we are seeing our council member um, who is standing behind his daughter, yes, and son-in-law to you know, give support as their granddaughter is being dedicated. God bless you, brother and sister Ramsaran and 
the entire family as well. We are delighted that you are integrally a part of us. I just want to just challenge you for a minute. It's Mother's Day, and what an appropriate day for you to take babies for dedication on Mother's Day. Couldn't be any more appropriate, mothers. And so we want to thank God for you. I, want, I know that there was tremendous joy, I'm sure, when these children came along. But I want you to know that with the joy also comes responsibility. And so, in as much as God has made you the parents, you must understand that God is expecting you to play a significant role in the lives of these children. As somebody has rightly said, is not just feed and bead. You have to guide the children. You have to instill in them values and attitudes. And now the best way to do that is to model it before them. That's why God said, no Abraham that he will command his children and his household after him that they will do justice and judgment. He knew Abraham was the kind of a father that would insist that the children must go in accordance with the word of Almighty God. I, I know God wants parents to be godly parents. That, that's how we set it up, you know. That parents would be godly parents. And being godly parents, you'd teach the children godliness. That's the ideal that God set up. But of course, we, you know, we always mess it up. But, I th but God is, is depending on you. All of you here is depending on you, fathers and mothers, and grand and God parents as well. You must be a part of this rearing and formation of these children. We, the world, Jamaica, is in a sorrow state. Moral decadence. Um, domestic violence is possibly the highest it has ever been. We want to make a difference. And we can only make a difference if these children will come differently. If they follow the same old pattern, it's the same thing we're going to have. Because if things happen the same way and you expect different results, you know, say, them say it's madness that. But I believe that God will allow you to make a difference. And, and I say again, you must teach them right. And, 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 and please, if, if I take a little more time than is necessary on Mother's Day, it's because I really want to get the message across. You cannot teach them one thing and do the other thing. If you teach them to be honest, you can't. Be dishonest before them. If you teach them not to tell lie, you can't tell them that master tell say go and tell master that men are there. You have to not only teach them, you must show them. I'm challenging every one of you. I'm challenging every one of you parents. God bless you richly. I, I always read Dor Dorothy Nolte's statement. Um, I guess some person asks, why are you read it, read it every time? Because there's new parents every time. And they need to hear it. And, and it, you know the number of persons who have asked me for it. After I've said it. But, but Dorothy Nolte says, if a child lives with criticism, he learns to condemn. If he lives with hostility, he learns to to fight. If he lives with fear, he learns to be apprehensive. If he lives with pity, he learns to feel sorry for himself. If he lives with jealousy, he learns to hate. If he lives with encouragement, 
He learns to be confident. If he lives with tolerance, he learns patience. If he lives with praise, he learns to be appreciative. If he lives with acceptance, he learns to love. If he lives with approval, he learns to like himself. If he lives with sharing, he learns generosity. If he lives with fairness, he learns justice. If he lives with security, he learns to have faith in himself. And if he lives with friendliness, he learns that the world is a nice place in which to live. Teach the children right parents. God Almighty is depending on you. Don't let God down. But don't let the society down either. Because I believe if you teach them right, they are going to rise up and people will call them blessed. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Almighty creator, one more time we come before your throne of grace to thank you for these children. God, we know that it was your will. We, God, in, what, in spite of whatever circumstance, we believe that you have a purpose and a plan for the lives of these children. And God, we ask you that in fulfillment of this purpose and plan, that you will cause that these parents will play their role, oh God, in accordance with your direction and your will for them and the children. So therefore, God, I ask you that you'll cause that godliness would characterize them. And God, as godliness will characterize them, they will model that before the children. And God, as they model that before the children, the children will be guided in the right direction and they will rise up and people will call them blessed. God, I ask you to take them over now, every one of them. Father, these delicate lives balance at a delicate stage, but God, if they get the right grooming and the right formation, they will be nation shakers. Oh, not in a negative sense, but they will rise up, God, and will be of benefit to the society. I pray, therefore, that you'll cover every one of them. Cover them with your Holy Spirit. Cover them with your blood. Cover them with your presence. Oh, God. God Almighty, I know that they are wicked, oh, wicked men, wicked human beings around, and they will seek to do hurt to these children, but we put a fence around them now in the name of Jesus Christ. None will be turned down. None, oh, no plan, no scheme, no diabolical plan plot of the adversary will ever, oh God, succeed against these children but God, you will continually protect and guide them. Grant that they, when they go to school as they must, God you will let them be brilliant. Let them be excellent in their school work and nothing, oh God, will be able to stop them. Cause that the discipline instilled by the parents and those with whom they have to do will cause them to go in a direction that God, that your will, your perfect will for their lives will be fulfilled. And so I raise them up. I raise up the parents. I raise them up now. Give them the courage to train up the children in the way they should go. And God, even as they show them love, not to spoil them. Because that is to the detriment of everybody. God, so I ask you to cover the parents and bless them and give them strength and give them the right attitude and give them the right approach. And God, grant that they truly will instill in these children values and attitudes and good qualities. So God, I lift up parents, but I lift up children. 
I lift up God and grandparents to you. And God, I present them all to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Take them over, God, and have your way in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to come close. I'm going to... Um, if you don't mind, I will um, anoint the children with olive oil. And then I will still don't want to take them in my arms. COVID is still keeping a little bit. If you want, I can do it. But I know COVID is still keeping to some extent. So I will lay my hands on them and bless them. And now I present Kaylee Stevenson, dedicated to the Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. present Award Tomlinson dedicated to the Almighty God in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. present Zaire McPherson dedicated to the almighty God in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I present Bryson Ray, dedicated to the Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now I present Raekwon Mitchell, dedicated to the Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen.
said on I'm going to be asking the mother just to call the name for me. <laughs> I know I, I know I present. Sedanik Millen. Dedicated to the Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. Present Talia Dubidad, dedicated to the Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you so much. So delighted that you could have made it. You will be getting your certificates. Um, I think the office will deal with that, but thank you so much for coming. And could I ask you, please, you will not allow this to be the first and the last time that we see you and the baby. Right? Right? All right. So we, we want to invite you and baby back to the church. All right? Let them know that this is where they were dedicated and they must not lose sight of that. God bless you richly. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop Clark, for doing the act of dedication. And thank you, parents, for seeing it fit to be in the house of the Lord this morning and to bring your children to be dedicated. At this time, I'm going to invite our senior pastor once more to give us the official greeting and also to introduce the day's speaker. I just put on my mask and ready to relax again when I heard that I had to be back here. <laughs> and so I guess that's how it goes. The girls club is there looking so nice. And so they will be ministering in a while. But my brothers and sisters, I just want to First of all, to say thanks to Brother Michael for leading out this service for us. We give God the glory. And I want to recognize our associate pastor, Reverend Jennifer Brown, and Brother Brown. I want to also... Mm -hmm. I also want to greet Reverend Garfield Blair and Sister Blair. Sister Blair is in the house. Oh, okay. God bless you, Sister Blair. Um, we want to thank God for her. She is a distinguished author, and so we want to um, remember her. In not only in our prayers, but also as we um, go forward, we purchase her books of poems. I want to also greet all the members of the Church and Pastors Council. 
and their spouses and all my brothers and sisters, I greet you all in Jesus' name. I want especially to greet those who are visiting with us for the first time and many are over on that side where the, um, the parents are and the godparents. We want to let you know how delighted we are that you could have come today. And we want to once again remember those who are in the virtual space, um, a group that has always been with us, and we want them to know how much we appreciate them. My brothers and sisters, I, the time is going, and so I will just be brief in, in greeting our mothers. Um, it is said that the Hebrews are credited with the saying that God could not be everywhere, so he made mothers. My brothers and sisters, I don't subscribe to the theology, but I like the sentiments because it means that mothers must be given accolades for the tremendous work that they do. It is said that at the turn of the 19th century, Miss Anna Jarvis um, of Philadelphia observed the first Mother's Day in memory of her own mother. She was subsequently convinced that many others shared the same sentiments, and she consequently initiated a nationwide campaign. And my brothers and sisters, it was bull's eye was as straight as Robin um, William Tell's arrow. It instantly caught on, and today, Mother's Day is one of the biggest celebrations that we have in our, on our calendar. I want to just say, my brothers and sisters, that as we look um, and examine the biblical narrative, we cannot help but being enamored by the resilience and tenacity shown by a multiplicity of mothers um, who have championed God's cause and in so many ways and so many different circumstances have been the champions for God. My brothers and sisters, I want to say thanks to the mothers who have beaten the odds Many who have been mothers and fathers, especially in the Jamaican context. And, and so we have to salute you for your selfless and sacrificial um, love and service, not only to the church, but to um, humanity. Many of the mothers, uh, you know, I, I take my wife for an example, and my brothers and sisters, she will do without just to let the children go well. Well, I'm not talking about fathers today. Um, so I can't talk uh, <laughs> about what the fathers would do. But I know she would just do anything so that is right in order to let the children go well. And so I want to say thanks to all of the mothers who are in the house. And, we, you know, we see a number of mothers in the Bible exemplifying what true mother would um, ought to be. We see Esther who was willing to sacrifice her life in order to save a nation. We see Jochebed, the mother of Moses, who thought it nothing to defy the edict of Pharaoh and deny the crocodiles of the Nile River um, of a deliverer and one of the greatest champions of the Old Testament, we, I say Moses. And, and, and we can't help but remember Hannah, who had to endure barrenness and scorn and ridicule, but she stayed at the prayer altar until God gave her a son, God gave Israel a deliverer, and God himself got a prophet. My brothers and sisters, a mother's prayer will 
dog the footstep of the child to the ends of the earth and back. I want to ask you, continue to pray for your children. Hallelujah. Because if you continue to pray, I know that God will bring transformation. I know that some of you are going through difficult times with some of the children. But continue to pray. Pray on, the songwriter said. Pray on because God is going to give you deliverance. And so my brothers and sisters, to present the word of God to us is a young man that God has blessed in an extraordinary way. He is an entrepreneur. He is an outstanding member of this church. He is one of the often um, persons who share the pulpit in this church. And he's involved in so many other things, fasting and chairs the missions committee, but he's just a man of God. Married to that beautiful lady across there, who I say is an author. My brothers and sisters, I love to hear Reverend Blair, Reverend Garfield Blair. I love to hear him preach. As soon as the girls' club do their ministry, I'm going to be asking you, please, to stand and welcome the man of God as he will be sharing God's word on today, Mother's Day. Put your hands together and welcome the Girls Club.
put your hands together for them. Could you stand with me now, everybody? And welcome the man of God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Somebody just tell him how much you love him, how much you adore him. Somebody just tell him how much he means to you. Somebody just praise him and exalt him. Somebody just extol him and liberate him. Somebody just magnify him and bless him. He alone deserves our worship this afternoon. He alone deserves our praise. Take time out and tell him how much he means to you. He's the one that has been watching over you. He's the one that has been keeping you. He's the one that has been blessing you. The enemy should have killed you, but he has protected you. Somebody worship him and adore him. Somebody extol him and exalt him. Somebody magnify Magnify him. Somebody exalt the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Alpha, the Omega, he's the beginning and the ending. Somebody just adore him. Somebody just love on him. Somebody just admire him this morning, this afternoon. He alone deserves our worship. He alone deserves our praise. He alone deserves to be exalted. He alone deserves to be magnified. I just love him. Do you love him this afternoon? Tell him that you love him. Just tell him how adorably he is to you. Just tell him how admir admirably he is to you. Hallelujah! Glory to the King of glory. Glory to the Lord of hosts. I just love to worship him. Because the Bible said it habits the praises of his people. And the Bible said, praise is comely to the upright. So somebody just worship him. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Some of us never come out of a good condition. But we are here today. <laughs> Some of us society write us off. But we are here today. Some of us our mother never cheer on. But we are here today. Worship him. And glorify the King of kings. And the Lord of lords. You may be seated in the presence of our great God and Savior, the ultimate God, the sovereign Lord, the I am that I am, Jehovah Jireh. What a God he is. What a God he is. And the thing I love about this God is immutable. He cannot change. Time don't change him. Circumstances can't change him. <laughs> Situation can't change him. He is immutable. He is unchangeable. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, I just love to worship him. Ah, hallelujah. I'm here to share a brief word this morning, as, this afternoon, as we celebrate mothers. And we celebrate the role of mothers in our home and in our society. I give thanks for mothers. Because if there were no mother... I don't know what happened to our society. That's why I don't subscribe to the Eve and Eve theory or the Adam and Adam theory. God put man and woman together. Yeah. Ah, that's God prescribed remedy ah, for multiplication. Yeah. So I don't understand that uh, you have heave to heave. You can't get a Steve from heave to heave. Yeah. Or you can't get a child, should say, from a heave to heave. You have to have an Eve and a Adam. Then you get some other multiplication. You call them children. So this morning I'm grateful that God has blessed us with mothers. I greet my pastor and his wife in her absence and family. Love to work with the Reverend Clark. You have been a blessing to my life, I must say. And I appreciate you. Reverend Jennifer Brown, our associate pastor and family. I greet you well, woman of God. This morning is like God let you go this morning. I was wondering if you were going to stop. <laughs> Watching her from home. I also greet our council member and spouse here. And you wonderful saints in the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you well in Jesus' name. I also have with me my other better half, which is my, my wife. I give thanks for her as the Lord has been using her and blessing her in doing her poetry. She has a poem to say to mom this morning, this afternoon as well. But let me read the word of God as we share from the word of God today. And the word comes to us from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to verse 3. And it reads, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. 
Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live a long life. Father, bless your word to our heart this afternoon. And glorify yourself. Father, I'm just only a vessel, a channel that you will use. A more peace for you. God, I pray that the anointing of your spirit will be upon me to share your word and to bring glory to your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If I should share this morning on a topic, I want to share healing earth in hearts. Because you see, my brothers and sisters, as much as we celebrate mothers, and, 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 as, and, as a, and as a son, as we celebrate our mothers, I am assure you that some of us never grow up or live with our mother in the best way. Some of us, some things that our mother say about us, some of us, some things that our mother do to us. Today, some of us, some things that we say about our parents, and our parents say about us, we need healing. And one of the best ways to start this healing is to start it in the, in the attitude of forgiveness. Uh, I, 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 I can testify that growing up, I never had a, a mother that could mother me the way I want to be mothered. Because she had a, three or four children and she had them one behind another. So none of us could get pr primary attention. Talk to me. Some of you have been there. So I never know what it is for a mother to hug me and to say me love you. I never know what it is for a mother to cheer me on. Sometimes when I have a situation, a mother will say, where boy? Move from you. And some derogatory terms where I can't speak now. Because I'm sanctified. Talk to me, some of you. You have been there. Hurt by your parents. Hurt by your mother that should have loved you. Should have cheered you on and helped you. You can testify. And when I went, remember when I was going through school and I was doing well, Bishop. And I said, yes, I can get that opportunity now to change my life. And when I went to him and I said, mom. Teacher want to see you. Because the teacher want me to sit. Grade 9 achievement test. Because at the time I couldn't, I, 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 I missed out on the common entrance. And I came second in grade five and so I was doing well. But when my mother came to school and sat with the teacher, you know what my mother said to the teacher? He can't do the test. Because he don't register with the proper name. Drop out of school and couldn't do the test, Bishop. Because I was registered in another name. And there was no registration for me at the school. <laughs> I just passed through school. And it happened to many children. Today, that that's a boy you call a deep hole. To change over back the name. Because some error that was made. Talk to me, chill. Talk to me, church. And I had to flung out into society. Trying to find my footing. Trying to make something of my life. No father, no mother. Then when I understand and hear who was my father and try to connect with him, he loved me for a while and started to do something. But when he hears him, he was in another man's name. He run left me. I said, but you're not mine. <laughs> I'm talking to some people today that your, 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 your beginning never look right. Situation that... Your past through never looked so good. But I can tell you if it was not for the grace of God. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. When, I, when I confronted my, my mother and I said, listen, let us fix this problem. Because by this now my father started to travel. Because he was married to another lady in the relationship. And the lady decided to file for him. So you know what that means? We have opportunity for go out for him. <laughs> Then my father said, I can't send for you, my boy. Call me name not upon your birth selfie ticket. Are you not my son? So I had to go to my mother. and said, help me fix this problem. And God have a good sense of humor, you know. Because the name that I was in was my sister's father's name. 
But my sister father was an Indian. And me a black man. So something have to fix. Something have to change. So when I said to her, she said, yes, she made the mistake and she put because the, the, the Indian man is in a better position than how my father was. Talk to me, some of you are a victim of that same situation. Oh, God, oh, God. And the, the, the long and short of it, the situation turned on and I get his name and him accept me close to his dying. And he wanted to send for me at a certain time. And I said, no, Dad, I'm good. The Lord has been very good to me. So I can tell you this, this afternoon that you can come from the worst place, but God can pick up any broken pieces and make something of it. Hey, talk to me, church. Hey, Jesus was the best gift born in a manger. He was the best gift come from Nazareth. Jesus can take the worst thing and make it into something beautiful. Am I talking to some parents, some children today? Don't, take, don't get taken up with your mother situation or how she grew you. Yes, it's painful. But the Bible encourages us today to honor them. Honor her. Respect her. Love her. It's difficult. Me never tell you say it wasn't hard for me. It's difficult. And up to the day, I still struggle. But I have to remember the word of God that said, honor your mother. Yes. Honor your mother, Bishop. Yes. Yes. Uh, some of you have to go home and take up the phone and call and say, I'm sorry. Because some of the things that you say towards your mother is wrong. You should not. Yes, she never do a good job. Yes, she be of somewhere. Yes, she cuss you out. Talk to me. Some things where some mother said to some parents, now he's gonna be reverent. Grab why you're soon dead. When I go out, I'm gonna make kill you. Talk to me. You're worthless, you come like a poopa, nothing good now come on you. Eh? Some of the words that you use to your children, it's not nice. Cheer them on. But I come to understand, Bishop, and this is the reality. And as I, I, I see you dedicate those children a while ago. You cannot be successful grandchildren without Jesus. That's a fact. That's a fact. You can't leave him out and expect to have it worked out. You cannot. He is the art and finish of our life. You have to have him. You see, because the Bible said, train up a child in the way he ought to go. And when he gets hold, he will not depart. You know what I said, Reverend? I train them to train them. Because when you train, you train them, you train them. So if they stray, they can't go too far. The chain will draw them back. Because you train them. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, must throw them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. The Lord, if he's not Lord of your life, he can't be Lord of your children or your family. You have to first make him Lord of your life. Give Jesus his due place in your life. Because he's looking to restore back the family. Yeah. He's looking to restore back the relationship. Uh, I know I can sit down and talk with my mother. I have a lovely gift for her for Mother's Day. And I'm going to give it to her and talk with her. And I, I don't buy her a postcard. I write her. I come from my heart. Oh, talk to me, church. Because at the end of the day, the Bible said if you honor and respect them, your life will be long. And it will be well with you on the earth. It will be well. Children, honor your mother. Yeah. Honor your parents. Love them. Yeah. In spite of what they do, love them. Yeah. In spite of what they say, love them. Because they never had to carry you. That's another story. Because yeah. yeah. some of them say, boy, I'm going to dash away now. But me carry you. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. I hear that saying all the while. So me never dash away. So, so whatever you are going with, just leave it alone. Come and never dash away. And some of them make some demand on you, you see, man. They never sue in you, but they make demand. Talk to me. Because you go out, you go sell back and send yourself to school. And do all kind of things and achieve no, and then them come in to make demand. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah? I remember when my wife just finished nursing school, Bishop. And her mother wasn't there. And she always cried that she wanted her mother. And as she finished nursing school and start, there comes her mother sick and we have to take her in. 
You think it wasn't painful? Ask her, my mother, she, she, she cries sometimes. And we said, dear, God work it out for a purpose. Because you see, if you, don't, if, if you have any attitude towards her now, it will, it will affect your future blessing down the road. So, so in our life, now do what you need to do as a, as a daughter. And watch God bless you. Because sometimes God brings you to the test to give you a blessing, but you feel the test. Oh. Hallelujah. You feel the test. You see, a mother's love is so special, you know. I don't understand when a mother don't really love a child. And sometimes it's not love she don't love, you know. It's the frustration. The situation she finds herself into. The condition she has you before she prepares for you. And by the time you know she have another one. And you know she have another one. And her life is in so much turmoil and frustration. And she take it out on you. And you become the victim of her situation. And end up on the street side. But I have news, man. I don't know about the Lord Jesus. I don't know about you, but the Lord Jesus Christ has a way to take up broken pieces. To take up broken life. Shattered life. And put it together. Mend it together. And make something beautiful. Something wonderful. Something awesome. Something great. Oh, Lord Jesus. I just love him. Moses' mother. Imagine she loved him so much that the Bible says she hide him. And when she couldn't hide him no more, Bishop. She flung him out there in the, in, in, in the river of Nile. But because of her love that she had for the child, God would have it to be that he reverse it and make fear a son, fear a daughter, find the child and saw the child. And so the child is a good child, a godly child. And brought the child into her house and look at her maiden and said, get one of the Hebrews them to look after the child. And it so happened to be that they sent back to for, for Moses' mother to look after. To look after. So when you let go your child, and when you pray over your children, and when you bless them and release them to God, He will look after them, and they will come back to be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Psalm said that there will be a fruitful vine by your side. There will be a fruitful vine. If a time and get back to the family, Call your mother, say sorry. A mother call some of your children and say, Me sorry. Me never understand. Me never know how to do. Me never know how to be a parent. My grandmother grew me for the most of the part. And sometimes when I'm hungry, I'm a grandmother. But today, anything that my mother lack and I have it, I'll give it to her. Because if I want to live a long life and it will be well with me, it, not just long life and I say, It's well with you. Some of you, why you're not better off today, you have to go back and say, sorry, mother. Sorry for the things that I said. Sorry that I did speak this about you. Because that's why it's not well with you, because there's some baggage that is still hanging there. Drop it today. Today is forgiveness day. Today is restoration day. Today is a day of healing. Today is a day where God will reconnect you. Go look for the mother, man. Go look for her. Talk with her. Talk it over. Pray it over. Call her. Reconcile. But make God can release what he has for you. Yes. Don't let your mother history affect your future with your children. No, no, no. It can happen, you know. Talk to me, Bishop. Yes, yes. Jacob, mother. Supplanter. Remember? Yes. And Robin, brother. Yes. And it followed him through his generation. It can follow you. So break it. Yes. Shut it down. Before it break you. Yes. Talk to me. Shut it down. Call and confess. Repent. Say me sorry. Cry if you have to cry. Yes. Sometimes you can't call but write the letter. Do something to make it right. Yes. And fix it. That God can make it be well with you. My dear wife, come and share your poem. And share what you... As a mother. And you know what I love about the Lord? The both of us had similar experience. Broken home, broken family. But we have a God that bridge everything. And put us together. And it don't affect us because we know Jesus who we serve. And he fix everything. Oh Lord God, sometimes we have to cry. Sometimes we have to share tears. But we say, God will not let you go till you fix the problem. And today we are celebrating him. 
Because Jesus is Lord over every circumstances, every situation. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. And you can't obey them outside of the Lord, but in the Lord. And this is right. And it's the first commandment with promise. God promised that if you do it, he will make it well with you and bless you. God bless you. Bless you, man of God. Bless you, wonderful people of God. Bless you, mothers. Happy Mother's Day. I can say my dear husband is a true man of God because I know his struggle. I know his pain over the years. It's not easy to be poor in love in someone who always try to tear it down. You know, you try to love somebody, but every time you try to love them, they do something to hurt you. And no matter how you try to have a beautiful relationship with them, it seems like it's not working out. But I thank God he's able to heal and fix every broken pieces. Glory be to God. But today is Mother's Day. And I want to salute you mothers. You love, you care, you nurture, you share. This poem is entitled, Mother's Love. I love you, mom, on this your day. I love you, mom, in a special way. Dear mom, please permit me to say, you are the fairest angel here today. I bless you, mom, right here, right now. Growing up, you always show me how to be myself and daily make my vow. I salute you, mother, take a royal bow. I adore you, mom, glad to have you here. I admire you, mom, on your face I stare. Mother never ceased to teach us how to share. Mother tear the devil daily like a beer. I treat you, mom, you're my father's bride. I cherish you, mom, I will stay by your side. I hug you, mom, in your love I abide. I hug you, mom, in your love I abide. I'm lost for words. Mother's love is so wide. I love you, mother, on Mother's Day. I bless you, mother, on Mother's Day. I adore you, mother, on Mother's Day. I treat you, mother, on Mother's Day. I cherish you, mother, on Mother's Day. I hug you, mother, on Mother's Day. God bless you. I just want to salute you. On Mother's Day, I hail you from Proverbs 31. It declares that you are a woman of honor. You are a woman of integrity. You're a woman who has bowel of compassion. You have guts. You defy the odds. Sometimes you have wayward children. Sometimes the way you are training and pruning and grooming them, they're just not going that way. They take influence from their peers. They take influence from the community. They take influence from the done man. They take influence from, you know, students and other persons in society who are not leading them aright, who stand against the standard and the principle that you are maintaining at home. And sometimes you groan deep in your belly. You feel the pain in the depths of your soul. But mother, keep on crying out to God. Keep on praying. Keep on setting the standard. Keep on being the example. Keep on being what you want your children to be. Proverbs 31 says, you are more precious than rubies. You are more precious than fine gold. You are a woman of strength and resilience. Women of power and love. You carry the spirit of joy. So we salute you today on Mother's Day. It is no walk over to raise a child. Even to take a child into the world. I've seen 14 year old, 11 year old, 15 year old. And I've seen adults giving birth to children. And one thing come on to all of them. They feel pain. They groan, they agonize. And they all have to bear down and push with every strength inside of them. Sometimes we have to give them fluid to keep them hydrated. 
Sometimes they throw up in the process. All type of things happen to them. But we have to medicate them. We have to comfort them. We have to assist them in the process to the glory of God. And when they bear down and agonize and give birth, but as soon as that child is born, we see the tear, we see the smile, we see the joy. We hear them saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. They express themselves with warmth and joy. And no matter how they were cursing at the midwives before, they say, sorry, sir, you're here. I was just in pain. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the joy that a child is coming to the world. But it does not end there. You keep on pushing every day. You push to see them fulfill their purpose in life. You push to see them soar. You push to see them achieve in life. You push to help them get a good education. You push to help them to be the best they can be. Refine women and men. More so Christian mothers. You are the apple of God's eyes. You are beautiful in the eyes of Jesus Christ. Stay steadfast in his word. Stay connected to Jesus Christ. Keep crying through your midnight hour. Never give up on your children. Don't compare them for each child is different. Train them well and show them equal love. I salute you from Proverbs, woman of God. I salute you, mothers. You are angels. You are emblems of righteousness and love. Keep on doing what you do. Keep on trusting God. Keep on loving him. Keep on breaking God's word to your children. Teach them the word of God. Let them memorize it. Show them how to live by it. Let them see your tears crying to God. Don't be afraid to let them see you cry. As long as it's holy tears. It's godly tears. God will reward you in due season. You shall see the travail of your soul like Jesus. And you shall be satisfied. God bless you mother. God bless you, mother, as you continue to walk in humility, in grace, in joy, in peace, and in love. I salute you with joy. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to close and I just want to pray for those who are here today. You're not a Christian. You haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ as yet, but you're a parent. I guarantee you that it's going to be difficult to grow that child without Jesus Christ's involvement. Difficult. Because the Bible said Satan come to steal, to kill and destroy. He's looking to destroy the purpose in that child. He's looking to destroy what God called that child to be. So today I guarantee you if you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, he will protect, keep and you will make sure that all your dream and aspiration for your child will be realized. Can you sing that song? Come just as you are. Hear the spirit call. And I want you to raise your hand. Those here, you're not a Christian, but you're a parent. And you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you this afternoon. Please, I want to pray for you this afternoon. Let me see the hands of those. You're not a Christian. Don't leave here and, let, and don't let us pray for you. Don't leave here. Yes, I see that hand. Anybody else I want to pray for you? Yes, I see that next hand. Anybody else? You're not a Christian and you want us to pray for you. And I want to also pray for those persons who, you know your parents are not living right. You know that you leave the house and things never right. You know that you're your mother and the things that you say and the things that you do. The remarks that you pass and the things that you say about your parents. I want to pray for you for forgiveness. And that God will reconcile that it will be well with you. So I want you to raise your hands. Don't be ashamed. I, am, I know the things that I used to say about my mother. And I have to confess and say, God, I'm sorry. And I have to tell her that I am sorry. Yes, I say that. And, and I have to go back and make it right. Please don't cover it up. God is saying something to us today to fix our heart. That our life can be fixed. Go ahead, sing it. Could you stand to your feet, church, please?
you can come to the altar. Let's walk up here and pray with you. Everlasting. Hey, Jesus. Yes, Trent. Strength. Walk to the altar. For can be well with you. I'm waiting for somebody else to come. I'm waiting for somebody else to come. God wants to fix the situation. He wants to fix the condition. He wants to turn the tides around. And he wants to restore you. Some of your blessings are in that because of the bad relationship. Bad relationship. Until Esau met Jacob Bishop and fixed the heart. His life changed. You remember? He had to face Esau and fix the relationship. And God changed him and bless him and call him Jacob and call him Israel. So, relationship is important to God and to your blessing. Let us pray as we look to the Lord God of heaven. Father, here are your people before you. God, you have called them. You are the one who have created them. You are the one who have blessed them with the parent that they have. They didn't choose the parent that they have. They didn't choose the mother that they have. You, God, design the life that you will want to bring them into. And Father, sometimes situation has not gone the way it should have. And there are brokenness in the family. Bitterness in the family. God, word that has said, thing that has done, that create problem, that get discard, and word that has spoken against the children and the children against the parent has been broken. Relationship to the family, Lord. And as a result of that, Lord God, things are shattered. Life is in dismay. But today, God, they come to repent. They come to say, God, I'm sorry. They come to say, God, forgive me, cleanse me, wash me. They come to say, Lord, I'm going to start over afresh. They come to be reconciled back to every relationship that has been broken. Today, God Almighty, there will be a confession. And there will be a conquering of the things that try to conquer them. Today, I speak against every diabolical forces, everything that Satan will try to use to hinder, to stop, to oppose. I shut them down and I bind them and confine them today. And I release over their lives the blessing of God. That it will be well with them, Lord. It will be well with them in their relationship. Let there be a confession. Let there be a reconciliation. And let there be a restoration, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I present them to you today. And I thank you for what you're going to do. 
I thank you for what you are doing. And I know God is going to be well as they confront the issues, conquer them, and become victorious over them. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I believe. And in Jesus' name it is done. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship him. Somebody just praise him. Thank him for what he's going to do. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This time gonna worship the Lord in giving with our tithes and offering. Notice I use the word worship because giving for the believer is worship. And the Bible says God love a cheerful giver. Today, as we bring our tithes and our offering in worshiping to the Lord, no of a fact that God is pleased when we are cheerful give to the cause of his kingdom here and hurt we are given to partner with God to enhance his kingdom here and hurt so I'm asking us to be generous in our giving to the work of the Lord father I just want to thank you for the opportunity to fellowship and partner with you. I want to thank you, Lord God, that you have blessed us with jobs and sources of income so that we can worship you and support the kingdom, the work here on earth, the ministry which you are a part of. Father, I thank you for your, the gifts and your blessing upon the gifts that it will use wisely for the furtherance of the kingdom. And I thank you also for your blessing upon everyone as we worship. We tell our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together.
hallelujah. If you know you're covered under the righteousness of God, shout hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. It might have appeared to go unnoticed, but I've got it all here in my heart. I want to let you know the truth. Of course, I know it. You are the wing between, be, beneath my wings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's still Mother's Day. Amen. I don't want to celebrate with our mothers. At this time, we have a package ready for our mothers. And I want you to enjoy as best as possible. But at this time, I'm going to invite Sister Kelly and Fagan to come and read a special citation and give a special presentation. Mothers, loved, cherished, and honored. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in here, in the household of faith, and online as well. Whether you are biological, or you have adopted, or financial, social, emotional, you are a mother, and today we salute you. Is Dr. Loretta Sewell Drummond here? Can someone please escort her? I'd like if a male could escort her. A male usher? Mother's Day remarks for Reverend Dr. Loretta Sewell Drummond from the Eastwood Park New Testament Church of God family. Mother you are, and we will count the ways where the authorship accolades, entourage, orphanage rescue, upper echelons, or inner city missions, international, regional, local, congregational, personal, there you are loving us, praying for us, rescuing us, signing so the deaf can feel connected as a part of us. Minister Drummond, you have in many ways murdered countless many of us. Unseen, unwavering, but felt through of the Spirit's discerning is the power and presence of our very God when you emerge from the closet of prayer. A passion that can only be recounted by the beholder. How you travail so that he will prevail upon our circumstances amidst our testings and when we are about to step in a new season. So vast in your mission that sometimes you slip away a while. But thank heavens, we quickly catch up. So ageless you are and contemporary. You find ways to keep in touch by Facebook or WhatsApp. You help us keep up a mother indeed. You allow us to have the assurance that you are okay. That you still hold up that the blood-stained banner and that we are all going to make it to heaven together. We must admit that ours is a pleasant lot. So much you offer in the way of comfort, covering, counseling, consoling, whilst blessing and not charging. Could we on this Mother's Day say it enough? A mother like you is made of no mean stuff. A giver, a worshiper, liturgical dancer, art painter, published author, unmoved by accomplishment of fame. Let me repeat that. Unmoved by accomplishment of fame. Serving humbly and giving grace-filled service because of Jesus' name. Eyes have not seen the awe that our Heavenly Father will bestow on you, their mother, in Zion. We love you so. Happy Mother's Day, Minister Loretta Sewell Drummond. We ask Sister Marcia Blair to 
grace us with our present shortly, so just get ready. for a round of applause. Well deserved and well done. God bless you too. A Mother's Day remarks for Sister Marcia Blair from the Eastwood Park Road New Testament Church of God Church family. Your story, his glory, our book of poetry. It's like pulling up a chair in the setting of a verdant backyard. Just to hear your version, your brand, that chronicles the journey of your conversation. Our handkerchiefs and tissues at hand soon come into play because only Jehovah Shammah could have written your journey this way. An exemplary wife and mother you are. We see you by his side, sitting by him, supportive of him, and preaching with him sometimes. How we are moved by the passion and compassion that pours out of your voice. How we are taken by the candid abandon when you teach us how to be a good bride. Mother indeed, you see our need and quietly do your part, guiding praying and guarding our hearts. Not surprised that your most recent earthly recognition, the Kingdom Indie Author Award for Top Poetry Book. Just because your life by Christ was changed with just one look. The blessed recollections now form a budding collection. Ah, who had despised the day of small beginnings? Look what the Lord has done. This is better than winning. It's conquering. It's overcoming. Sister Marcia Blair, with you we are rejoicing. A tender-hearted nurturer of physically ill, you have that kind of heart that is open. Sensing emotional need. Ready the physical hungry to feed. Ready to be used by his will. Ready and will listen when he says, peace be still. Surrendered is how you live. Showing us by your example our own need to submit. Showing us to wait, work, and anticipate. Yes, how to stay faithful to our Savior until he once again makes a way. Sister Blair, on this Mother's Day, we salute you and say thank you for your godly example. Happy Mother's Day. accept this gift on the behalf of Sister Clark for being such an amazing role model and mother to us all. 
On behalf of the EPR Girls Club, I'd like to present this gift to Reverend Jennifer Brown. Thank you for being a good role model to the EPR Girls Club and keep on being the good mother you are. Happy Mother's Day. So we are not yet finished with the goodies. So we're going to ask if our council women are close by just to please stand if you're in the congregation. Our council women. Mother's Day remark for, sorry about that. So we're inviting our council women to come. I think Sister Winifred Moore and Sister Melrose Simpson are to join us on the platform to do the collection on behalf of the council women. A Mother's Day acknowledgement for our women of the pastor's council from the Eastwood Park New Testament Road Church family. You are the walking, talking, living, smiling, praying, kingdom business doing. History makers in our midst. Before you came along, the idea of council women was amiss. We want you to know that we see you. We embrace this opportunity to acknowledge things that you do. Some seen, but many behind the scenes to keep this ship called EPR going. Your ear bent to listen to a concern. Your heart turned to God so that you can discern. Then your hands and feet move to the something, to do something about it. Because that's just who you are. A councilwoman, oh how the hat fits. We see the steps that you are taking when you are praying, planning, managing, advising, suggesting a way to solve or soothe a situation. All the skills and surrendered will that we see in you. All the comfort that we receive when we see you. Because we know a certain as the day, you will help us figure out what to do or find a way to help us through. If there's a concern, we can say it to you. Is that true, congregation? Yeah. Yes. Peculiar royalty is the fruit of your Christianity. Then you add to your status patience with all of us. We give you ideas so that an important detail is not missed. Council women. The church is delighted by all of this. You are one of us, yet you so willingly lead us, guide us, serve us, and hope with us. We see you and we feel you a bit more confident when you are around. You find a way, you help us to undo a frown. And the opposite of a frown is a smile. You don't just want to understand or sit, sorry, you don't just want to stand or sit around. You are busy doing the work of the ministry. Often when many of us are home, asleep, or in the sanctuary, preparing to take a seat. Yes, you do sit in the sanctuary to absorb the word. Then you rise to pray, to say, to lead, to take control in matters that without your attention would not otherwise nicely unfold. Councilwoman, Councilwoman Moore, for surely it's prayer at the core. Councilwoman Faitlin Williams, yours is the gift of keeping things calm. 
Councilwoman Melrose Simpson, how blessed you take the new converts into your council. Councilwoman Patsy Banks, spearheading evangelism and getting us into the Great Commission. Councilwoman Isola Malcolm, always wants that lost souls to come home to God. Your lives ring true. That's why we choose you. Thank you for all that you do for us at EPR. We declare Ebenezer and thank God that you play your part to bring us this far. Happy Mother's Day from your Eastwood Park Road Church family. Come on, put your hands together for them. We do appreciate our councilwoman in this church. At this time, I have a special prize. I have a special prize. But this prize is going to go to the mother who has the youngest child in the house. So let me start with two months. Two months? All right, no. Three months? Six weeks. All right, so they, we get the youngest already. Six weeks. Put your hands together for her. <laughs> May I invite you to come and receive this book of poems, recollections, poems for every occasion. Congratulations, and I know that you will be a great mom. Yes. Put your hands together for her. Beautiful, beautiful. At this time, my brothers and sisters, we will have a special item by our saxophonist and the church band. Put your hands together for them to actually serenade you a bit, mothers. Please enjoy.
the EPR family expresses profound gratitude to two women who have contributed to various ministries within the church over the years. Now, this woman of God, this mother, is soft, gentle, warm, and committed. Now, these are just a few adjectives that can be used to describe this precious woman of God. She's always prayerful for her church family and is an avid FTHer who enjoys engaging in activities, whipping up in song, easily quoting relevant scriptures and reeling off answers to pressing questions during competitions. Now I could also add that she is always prayerful for the couple's ministry. Anyone has any idea who I'm talking about? All right. Sister Luzetta Thomas. Give it up for Sister Thomas. Now, Sister Thomas is not here with us, so Sister Aiken will be accepting this special token on her behalf. Is Sister Aiken here? She's coming. Clap, clap her for me. She's coming. She's being escorted. All right, give her a clap. Thank you, Sister Aiken. All right, so the next woman of God who will be recognizing today, now whether it's taking her daughter to rehearsals or various other engagements or busy lecturing her students or nursing us back to good health, this pleasant, hardworking, loyal, and dedicated servant of God always wears a smile, even behind the mask. You can see the smile in her eyes. Undoubtedly passionate about her church family. Today we pause to recognize, and who could tell me who is that? This one should be easy. I hear, I hear some names. All right, so we recognize today Nurse Patterson Bartley. Give her a hand. Yes, Nurse Bartley, that's you. <laughs> She's being escorted. She looks surprised. Come on, give her a clap, give her a clap. And we have Mr. Leighton Taylor making the presentation. Clap her, man, clap her. That's Nurse Patterson Bartley. We can't let this occasion pass without capturing it. Memories. <laughs> All right. See? Always having a wonderful smile. All right. Give it up. Give it up for Nurse Patterson Bartley. Wonderful. Now, I have a plaque here. And I am going to be asking one of the ushers to escort Sister Sean Byfield to the podium. Yes, yeah, she looks quite surprised. Yes, yeah, Sister Byfield, that's you. 
And this is from the this is from the Usher Ministry. Give her a clap. Come on, clap her man. Always hardworking, always dedicated to the ministry. It's your time to recognize today. So it says, in recognition and appreciation for your exceptional and dedicated service to the Esau Park Road New Testament Church of God Usher's ministry, know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Happy Mother's Day, Sister Byfield. We have one more. Well, I have one more surprise to present to a wonderful mother, a powerful woman of God, spiritual mother to many in this church. Sister Sam. Sister Sam. Somebody has called Sister Sam up for me. Brother Sam, do the, do the honors, please. Dedicated servant of God, de dedicated woman of God. Give her a clap. Always has an encouraging word, regardless of who it is, whether young or old. Now, Sister Sam, this gift basket is coming from two very special individuals within this church. They said that once you read the card, you'll know who it is, but they regard you as someone that is truly special to them. And they just want you to know that you are greatly loved and appreciated. Give her a hand, give her a hand. Clap her, clap her. God bless you, Sister Sam. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This special token is for our local president, Sister Faith Lynn Williams. We have another one for Sister Faithlin, you know, as a mom on Mother's Day. And me make sure, say, myself, as the men's president, I am presenting this to my dear sister, the women's president, a president extraordinaire and a mother supreme. Come on, give her a better clap than that. You must see Pastor smile. Give her, no man, you have something bigger, nothing finger finger.
wonderful, wonderful indeed. Come on, put your hands together for all the mothers and specially recognized mothers who have received tokens this morning. I want to thank those who have presented and thank the mothers who have been an impactful, who have played rather an impactful role in the lives of many, but in particular, the church. Now it's time for the grand finale. The grand finale. And of course, we have a special guest artist with us. She is a vocal lecturer at the Edna Manley College of the Visual and the Performing Arts. She is a vocal director uh, and she is a praise and worship leader in her local church. Ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to put your hands together and help me welcome to serenade you on this special Mother's Day, Minister Geneva Eyre. Put your hands together for her. Come on, put your hands together for her. Beautiful, beautiful. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the house of God this morning? Or is it afternoon yet? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Wave your hands if you're happy to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I am happy to be here with you this morning. And I must greet the Holy Ghost. There's such a sweet spirit there's such a sweet presence here i came here last week when it was the Ch national child's month service with my students at excelsior primary and it was such a blessing to listen to you guys it was awesome it was amazing thank you for inviting me and happy mother's day to all the mothers give yourselves a round of applause you work so hard you work you're so diligent you're so amazing you're so strong and you know why you're strong? Because God is good. And so we just worship the Lord this morning. We're just going to declare that he is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we lift you high. Mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I, I am able I will sing of the goodness of God been led through the fire for oh, you have led me through the fire and in dark
just sing this really solemn now say all my life all my life I want to hear everybody in the house sing all my life you've been so very good sounds so beautiful with every breath I will sing you know that that, that that part that says with every breath that I am able just reminds me of another song Karen and Andrew don't expect this but with every breath that I am able with every breath I will not be silent I will always worship you as long as I song it's called I see Jesus how many of you know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run in and they are saved have you been saved by the name of Jesus is it your battle cry is it your go-to when the children giving you problems do you call on the name of Jesus if you don't I encourage you it's a strong tower his name is a strong tower. Master, the tempest is raging. The sails of my ship are tattered and torn. The rocks that surround me have broken my bow, and my helm is of no use. I can't direct myself this way and that way. I'm being cast. And the way things look now, this night should be my last. But I know better, and I won't despair. Because I know, I know you are near. I do see Jesus. He's sovereign. King, he rules over everything. Jesus, he overcame the 
This matchup is rough. My opponent has the reach, advantage, build, and experience. Yes, I agree, he is tough. He has his strategy and his team. Legions and legions. But I know I'm not outmatched. Because there's someone in me much bigger. tremble. Every demon has to bow to the mighty name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that what? Jesus is Lord. So we're going to worship God, Jamaican sailors. as we make our way out of here today. Because we're going to declare that the name, of the, the name of our Jesus makes the darkness tremble. Ready? All right. If you know you love Jesus, just wave your hands in the air. And you can stand on my, your feet with me, you know. Just stand on your feet with me. Yes, Lord, you are worthy. There is none like you in all the earth. Yeah, Lord, 
Weren't you blessed? Come on, put your hands together for her one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It has been a great day in the presence of the Lord. Wouldn't you agree? It has been a great day. The morning service was great. And of course, the second service has been a tremendous blessing. And we want to thank those who have participated. We want to thank those who have led. We want to thank those mothers who decided that, hey, it is Mother's Day. And because it is Mother's Day, I'm going to come into the house of the Lord to give him praise and glory and honor. If that mother is you, shout hallelujah. If that mother is you, shout hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. I am Michael Freckleton, and it was a privilege to be your moderator. For those who are online, we thank you for being with us today. At this time, I'm going to be asking our senior pastor to come and do the closing remarks and to give a final prayer for our mothers. God bless you. Thank you once again, brother. Freckleton. My brothers and sisters, we have come and we are about to draw the curtains on another lovely service. As he has said, God was with us this morning. What a blessing that service was. But we recognize that God is not partial and so he has blessed us tremendously in this one as well. So give God a hand, everybody. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, I want to um, just say thanks to the um, committee that put this program together and executed it. I think they have done a fantastic job. Put your hands together and let them know that they have pulled out all the stops for the mothers. And my God, I'm sure that the mothers are feeling good. I want to especially um, commend and congratulate those mothers who received their special gifts and prizes. God bless you. Um, I guess everybody can't get the same time. And so next week, next year might just be your time. God bless you. And so we rejoice with those who received this time. And we look forward with great anticipation to what um, is for next time. I want to, in a special way, um, say thanks to um, Sister Geneva Air for the great um, blessing that she has been to us um, as we come down to the closing. God bless you richly. Yes, you know that if you're clapping persons, you mustn't clap like you're sorry for them. So put your hands together and let her feel appreciated. Thank you so much. My brothers and sisters, I know the time is gone, and I want the mothers to go home, put their feet up, and enjoy a great dinner. Um, yes, I, I hope all will... Well, I hope all are expecting <laughs> that at this time. But before I do, I permit me, please, to just say thanks to um, Sister Michelle Campbell and the team that allowed us to pull off such a service last week. <laughs> Clapper and the others and the team um, better than that. It was a fantastic job. I think it went great. Um, and, and so we want to thank God for Sister Michelle and the work that she did with the committee. And then yesterday, for those who were not here, we had a great um, health fair. That was really good. And a number of persons, I think in excess of 150 persons, were ministered to um, by the health team. And so we want to say thanks to, is it Brother Bayrou and the entire team. My God. Um, Sister Pattison again. 
she was at the helm, and some others of our help, Dr. Francis and Dr. Jones and Dr. Grant. We can't call everybody. Just put your hands together for them. They were marvelous. They were really marvelous. And, um, you know, as we see, a number of persons were ministered to health-wise. And we give God the glory. Thanks, EPR, for being a great church. Thank you so much. You are doing excellent. Um, finally, before I do the benediction, I want to know. It's not benediction time. Somebody? Yeah, we need to do some notices before the benediction. Um, so I just want to say that last week, I'd ask you to take a special gift for? Why you don't even remember? For, Beth for the Bethelites. All right? But because the program has been so elongated, we are not able to do that today. And more, many persons are already gone. And so I'm going to be asking you next week. Hello? All right, next week, I ask you to take your best gift for the Bethelites. Now, it's coming on to the end of the semester, so whatever we're giving them, we have to do it now. All right, and so we want to do the best we can for our students who are going to Bethel. So I ask you, in both services, whatever service you come, please take a a very special love gift for the Bethelites. God bless you. Brother Chedi will come at this time. All right, please take note of the announcements. So on Tuesday, between 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., we continue with our weekly fasting service. Sign language classes will be held on Wednesday, starting on at 5 p.m. So that's this Wednesday at 5 p.m. We'll have our regular Bible study, which is held on Wednesdays, starting at 6.30 p.m. Now, the couples ministry will be having their couples meeting that will be held on Tuesday, May 10, starting at 6.30. And I'm just going to ask you to just pay attention to the screens for the announcements for the couples meeting all right so while that is coming up let me just give you some more details so in that meeting the couples will be celebrating the children and there will be a special presentation from the National Parenting Commission. As part of the activities, couples are asked to wear their school uniforms. Yes, school uniforms. Take a special donation to aid a child in need and encourage your child, grandchild, or ward to enter an essay competition on the topic, God Speaks, I Listen. And the deadline for submission is actually today, so I'd assume it's today by midnight. Um, so, you're encouraged to have your child, grandchild, enter this Esther competition. It's for children 12 years and under. Now, the Surrey Zone Women's Convention will be held here at EPR on Saturday, May 21st. All the sisters are asked to make a special effort to attend, as plans are in place to offer legal, medical, and psychological counseling during this event. As we have been doing over the past few weeks, we continue to remind you of the activities associated with Rally 2022, and they are as follows. All the women are asked to leave their partner money with any of their leaders at the back of the auditorium. The leaders may be easily identified as they are outlined or outfitted with sashes or in sashes. Not seeing any right now, but 
Rally cards and pledge envelopes are available at the desk at the back of the building. No, okay. The trip to Turtle Towers Beach in Ocherius will be held this Saturday, May 14th. The transportation cost is $2,000 per person. Children under 12 years old will pay $1,500 and the entrance fee is $200 to access the beach. Now I'm being told that the bus leaves EPR on Saturday at 7.30 a.m. sharp. So you have to be on time if you're going on the bus. Tomorrow is the final day if you need to register for the beach trip as the cutoff time is tomorrow. Foods are also on sale on the outside at a very reasonable cost. Now there are some specially designed wash rags that are being sold as well for $500. I'll stall to show you what it looks like here. Inscribed on them, Jesus saves, Team Jesus, they have different things inscribed on them. So this is a part of the fundraising effort by the women for a rally. So it's $500 for these design of wash rags. And members are encouraged to support all of these fundraising efforts at this time. Now, the funeral service for Sister Merlin Pink will be held on May 11, starting at 11 a.m. The funeral service for Sister Evelyn McLean will be held on Wednesday, May 25, and more details will be forthcoming. The funeral service for the husband of the late sister Marriott will be held on May 27, starting at 11 a.m. Sister Cynthia Blackwood would like you to know that her husband's surgery was successful, and he is still in the hospital but recuperating well, and she expresses her gratitude for your prayers and calls. Now for birthdays and anniversaries. Now, do we have anyone celebrating a birthday today? Into, into next week, Saturday, into Saturday coming? Birthdays, if you're here, ask you to stand. Happy birthday to you. This is your day. On this day for you. celebrating anniversaries for this week. If you're here, please stand. convention will be held here at EPR on Saturday, May 21st. All the sisters are asked to make a special effort to attend. I'm not sure if I had mentioned that, but I'm just repeating it. As plans are in place to offer legal, medical, and psychological counseling during the event. Thank you, everyone. Have a good week. God bless you. Yes, I think that was uh, just re repeated for emphasis. Um, thanks, Brother Chedi. And may I just piggyback back on what he just said. My brothers and sisters, maybe because you're from this region, you didn't know. But it is said that the Eastern, yes, yeah, sorry, Regional Women's Ministry One Day Convention, the sorry one is always by far the worst attended. 
You have never heard that? Yeah. Oh, it's the worst attended by far. I'm told. When we in Montego Bay, you can't find place. Uh, upstairs, downstairs, and whole heap of people have to stand up outside. But I'm told that any church that it is at, sorry. You can, you, <laughs> there's an old minister when the church empty and say you could play ball in there. When sorry of their convention, you can play ball in the church. This needs to be different. I'm going to ask the EPR family, please, to plan to be out on Sat is it Saturday? Saturday, the 21st of May, and let this be the beginning of the transformation. Can't allow sorry to be the worst one. No, sir. No. And so I really want to ask you, please, to plan, make plans. Make plans for this one. Anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yes. yes, please make plans and let them know that the change has started. God bless you richly. My brothers and sisters, I must just cover the mothers as we go at this time. Let us, let us look to the Lord. Everybody's, it's time to cover. You can stand if you want to. But everybody, we want to cover the mothers right now. This is an important moment. Hallelujah. We ask for God's blessings. Hallelujah. And God's covering on them. Almighty creator, we honor your name. God, we thank you for what you have done today. God, you have been a good God. Hallelujah. We have felt your presence. Yes. We know you have been here. Amen. And God, we just want to honor you. Amen. Hallelujah for your goodness to us. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for every mother here today. Father, we know that some have given selfish, selflessly, sacrificially. And God, they have given all that they have, oh God, to be mothers and some mothers and fathers to their children. Oh God, we want to thank you for them. And Lord, we pray that at this time, some will reap some of the reward, oh God, of the seeds that they have sown, righteous seeds, good seeds, selfless seeds, God, we just want to ask you for a special blessing upon every mother at this time. And God, we do not only pray for those who have been biological mothers, but Father, we know that some have truly been champions for you as they have nurtured young ones, as they have guided um, children, and God, and as they have made a, a, a distinct contribution to the kingdom of God. Father, we just want to thank you for all of them. Oh God, for many it has not been easy, but thank you. Oh hallelujah that you have been with them through thick and thin. You have been with them. So God, thank you. We pray that you'd continue to strengthen them and those who feel like giving up God. We ask you that you'll touch them another time and let them know that you have not brought them this far. Oh God, to let them down. So give them more strength and courage and determination. And God, we ask you that as they have been diligent and faithful, we pray, oh God, that you'll bless them in an extraordinary way. Open the way, oh God, that they can be blessed, that God, that they can um, receive favor. Grant that some of the children will turn around and bless them also. 
God, we just give them to you now, oh God. And on this very special Mother's Day, oh God, we pray for a special blessing. We pray for a special spiritual blessing. And we pray, oh God, that they would find favor, oh God, in husbands and children and those who, oh God, are around them. Father, so we lift up the mothers to you today. And we pray, almighty God, that your heavenly benediction would rest, remain, and abide with them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen and amen. God bless you, mothers. And God bless you, fathers. And we thank you for coming out. And God bless you, we trust that this evening will be a special evening where you'll be treated and spoiled and all kind of thing. They will just let you feel good. God bless you. Let's do the benediction at this time. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. And the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his shalom both now and forevermore. And all of God's precious people say, God bless you richly. Please enjoy the rest of the day, mothers and everybody. God bless you.